One of the Zack Snyder films that we don't often talk about enough is Dawn of the Dead, and now he's going back to the genre with Netflix's brand new film Army of the Dead that just released a brand new poster, and we now know the date in which it will come out on Netflix. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you like this video, be sure to let me know down below, and are you excited for this film, or are you a bit nervous. And hey, this video is all about the poster, so let's take a look at it as we talk about some of these cast members. The notable one being Dave Bautista, who was hesitant about signing up for this film at first, but he wanted the chance to work with Zack Snyder, so he came aboard. An actor by the name of Theo Rossi, who played Shades in Luke Cage. I think he's a great underrated actor. Uh, Tig Notaro, who came in for Chris D'Elia after the controversy in Hollywood. She's playing the character of Marianne Peters. And of course, written, directed, and produced by the man, Zack Snyder himself. And we get an idea of what the plot is, but I'll just read off the summary. Following a zombie outbreak in Las Vegas, a group of mercenaries take the ultimate gamble venturing into the quarantine zone, it's, it's a bit too familiar, to pull off the greatest heist ever attempted. And we get a clear picture of that in this poster where we see the bank vault and inside, whether they're locked in or not, are the hands of numerous zombies. And I just love the style of the poster. First off, the pink neon look of the text. Well, it kind of reminds me of this channel, uh, but it also tells you that there's going to be a flair about this film that maybe a lot of us did not expect. And then you have the money and the die and the playing cards flying out of the vault. We know this heist takes place in Las Vegas. That's going to be the backdrop here. And they are clearly going to make that prominent, whether it be the locations, the tropes of Vegas, and the idea of just pulling off this heist in general in this quarantine zone. See, we've seen plenty of zombie movies before, and that's my big hesitation going into this film is, is it going to feel too familiar? But... This concept of going a different route and having these mercenaries, as described in the summary, take the ultimate gamble, and I love how they play on that in the poster, is fun, and it's just a chance to showcase a lot of what Snyder does best, and that is action. But one thing I think that he hasn't really tackled as much recently is the genre of horror. And we combine both of those things, a horror action movie with a really fun cast. I think Dave Bautista is going to take full advantage of this situation. And I think that gives us a super entertaining movie. Now, if you're asking Austin, when does this come to Netflix? Well, the answer is May 21st. But not only do we get the release date with this announcement, we also got the announcement of the first trailer coming for Army of the Dead this Thursday. So mark your calendars not only for the trailer, but for reaction from this channel. Thursday, the 25th of February, will be our first official moving look of Army of the Dead coming to Netflix. You guys know we're going to have an early review of this film on this channel, so stay tuned for all future Army of the Dead updates. But I just wanted to take a look at this poster, the visual element of it, which is unexpected, and the context clues that we get about the plot with the heist and the money, and obviously the hands of the zombies and the blood splatter on the vault. I just love all of the detail, and I think the poster is actually really cool. So we'll just have to see how the movie plays out, if it lives up to the hype from fans of Zack Snyder and his style. Uh, we don't know, but I can't wait to see on May 21st. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Stay tuned for any more Army of the Dead updates, and if you like this video, be sure to drop your thumbs up down below, and do the same if you're excited for the film. All right, guys, I'll see you tomorrow.